Guys, check this out. <laughs> How was the fight so far, Logan? Hi there, everybody. So great stuff here. Logan had a pickup here, and uh, his granddad, you know, Cody, is with him. Just relieving him now. His hands are already burning out some steam there. Yeah? Uh, let's get back to the fun. Check this out. How did it feel so far, Log? So it's uh, just able to turn the fish around now. So we're well into the back end. Have a look at that. Good stuff. So his granddad just gave him a chance there yeah, to relieve him a bit. So. <laughs> he held it for a long time there, but. Is it? Straight deep, see, huh? What do you think it is? Tuna. <laughs> we hope it's a tuna. Good. So there's no steel there. Unless you hook it right on the lip. <laughs> well done, guys. Well done. Well done. Bring it home. We'll wash him right under. Ah, uh, no, not the side one. No, not this one. Don't worry, Gori, we'll land this one, boy. We'll land it. We're right here. And then he took off again. My ah, goodness, look at that. Gori, we're gonna wash this guy right underneath there, right? Don't worry, we'll go down and get it for you. Oh yeah, Logi! <laughs> he came forward. Adis. Did you have a leader on there, Gori? Let's see what happened here. Right here in the front now. You know what? We took you straight over the reef. Yeah, that's straight over the reef there. Yeah. So you broke you off on the faster leader. So that's running straight over the reef. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, that, that's right on the reef. You must have bunched off. Yeah. Adios, guys. So what you got to say about that, Logs? 
Are you upset? No, man. We lose now and then. As long as you had a good fight, eh? We're gonna put another bit on, right? Good stuff. Don't worry, you're gonna try and put those cattle as well. Well done, Gordy. Alright, good stuff, good stuff. Alright, you're gonna go get another live bit and you put it on, right? Say hi to everybody. <laughs> Don't worry, Logs. <laughs> All right, so massive run here at Margaret Pier. Um, Logan and his granddad, Gordon, fantastic fun here. They had, had a pickup from right in the front here. And the fish went quite far out, taking them right into the back end. And it looks like there is burnt off on the on holiday rock here. So yes, right up uh, past the leader and burnt them off. So that happens now and then. Unfortunate, but these guys are going to put out another bait. The conditions are good here at Margaret Pier. So let's hope more action to come. So stay tuned with us, folks, and all the best. So, so, Cheers guys! Fun and games here at Leisure Bay with Cool and the Gang, Sekunda. How are you feeling there, guys? Fantastic! Enjoying it, guys? Yes! yes. Right. Hey, loving it here! I'm the newest first class, second grade. Top stuff, yeah. Top stuff. Can I get Top stuff here. Excellent stuff at Leisure Bay. Look at this. Look at them. So yes, the not easily win is giving it a go, but the fun and games are happy here at Leisure Bay, guys. Just for you folks. Guys, on behalf of our Secunda family here, uh, we just like to wish Mike all the best uh, with the hot throw fishing and we're having an awesome time at Leisure Bay and we hope that you other guys can all join us as well. What an awesome time we're having with Mike and Angie with hot throw fishing. Happy birthday to our beloved brother Mike. We love you. Thank you for this awesome weekend at Leisure Bay. Hot throw rocks! <laughs> How far are you going, bro? Hi guys and welcome to Michael and Angie's channel again. We are here at Leisure Bay and we are accompanied by our beautiful Sukunda family and what a weekend already. So we are here at this lovely beach. I'm just gonna focus on that right now. And brought these guys to have a bit of a fishing experience. So let's see what they are going to catch. There's Sandra and Cedric with their lines already in the water. There's Vishnu, hoping that they would get a tight line.
Michael Scrini Kobe The Cool and the Gang Apparently this is a prime ground so possibilities are endless This is so nice to see Kuben. He's normally a golfer. I'm sure Subash will identify. But here we got him holding a rod. Kuben, what have you got to say, our golfer? Oh, yes, no, I love this sport. Nice and enjoying yourself. Relaxing. I love the sound. Different to a golf club? Yeah, kind of. It's a, I'll, I'll take a bowl, but I try another bowl. Here you can get something that you can eat, hey? <laughs> <laughs> well done. Look at these beautiful dogs. Look at them. Gorgeous. Yeah, we have our very own Michael! <laughs> Fun again, Jay. Let's be here, guys. With the cool and the gang, Secunda Squad. We're having a great time here. So, first day we meant to get our bait out. Yes, the South West has picked up, so it's given us a chance here. The water's a little bit calm here in the front. So we found a nice gully over here. And that's where we're fishing out now. So, we've had quite a few guys here, Kuben, Fish. Uh, but uh, Stringy and Gothetic here, we've got some bait out for them. Let's hope we get a pick up. So stay tuned with us, guys. Fish? What have you got to say? Hi, guys. Enjoying our time with Mike here at Legend Bay. Hosting us and giving us a great Good luck. All the best, fish. Hi. Stiniana? It's a bit too windy, but I'm having a lovely time. Mike is helping us with this. He's training us quite well. So we're enjoying it. All the best. Hope you get a good bream. Like the one on your shirt, eh? Yeah. <laughs> so now, Cedric and Sandra, just thought that the fish are right over there. Look at this. Let's try and get them. So that's Cedric and Sandra trying in one of those gullies. Well, you never know he's gonna walk towards us with one of those lovely fish. Wishing them all the best. Okay guys, we'll keep you posted.
Look at this picture. The cool in the game. It's always a dream to have your buddies with you. No matter how far away or how close by. They will always be in your heart. How's that? Oh my gosh, it was just like taking him out. This is talking to Jody. That fish is going to have to turn, so. Okay, so we got Angie on, yeah? Uh, with a double hook trace, step one step back. And this, this I just used a hooky squirt and a bit of. Um, hooky is yep, back, really. Japanese mackerel. Look at this, guys. It's a rod bender here. 15 pound line, number six nickel hooks. I'm not sure how long she can hold this here, but this fish is giving her a go. But try not to reel when the fish is pulling you, right? When he stops, then you're gonna try and retrieve. Right, now pick up. Pick up the rod first, try and pull the rod up. Oh, this is big. Don't try and reel while the fish is pulling you. Stop. Just hold. Yo. It's still moving. It's still moving, okay. So you got some leader there. This is 45 pound braid. Okay, but that's only 15 pound line you got in the front, maximal line. Okay. And as I've got you, I just said I want to feel a bite. <laughs> More than a bite, it's tight line. <laughs> Great stuff. Okay, so it's a, it's, a, it's a very gradual fight. So remember, when this fish stops, yeah. you're going to try and pick your rod up and reel towards it. So take one step back. I don't want you right against the railing. Right. All right, good stuff. Now pick the rod up and see if that fish turns around. Oh, it's still pulling. Yo. What do you think it is? Could be a salmon, could be a skate. Hey, where are you? Let's have a look at the direction this is going. I told you you're going to go down to fish my fish, eh? Okay, I want you to run straight to the top over there. You must have let out some no, light. just keep the, keep the rod just like that. It'll go if it needs to go. Right, slow, 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 slow. Right, tighten up. Right, if the fish is stopped, you're gonna try, you still pull it. Okay, so pick your rod up gradually. See if you're feeling that fish move. Right, pick up gradually and capture as you're going down. Good stuff, capture as you're going down. And pick the rod up gently. But when the fish decides to move, you must let him go, okay? Don't stop when he's trying to move. Right, capture, put the rod down. That's it, now pick up gradually. 
Remember, it's only 15 pound line in the front. You can put only about 15 pounds of pressure. That's it, the fish has turned around. Good stuff. Right, pick up. Oh, this reel is really still moving. Carry on. Right, pick up. Capture quickly as you're going down. Right, pick up now. And pick up. Capture quick as you go down. So we're going right into your back blade now, right? Eh? Yo, the rock hopper is bending. Look at that. Could be a skate, Baba. That's it. Keep capturing. Right, pick up. Don't walk back. Come more to the front. Go more to the front. Go more to the front. Right, he's going right past your, your top braid. Let's have a look. Okay, so top braid's gone. That's your surf pro 45 pound already going out. We're going into your back in your 30 pound JDB is in the back there. Okay. Fish is quite far. It's more than 200 meters out already. Okay, good. That's great. That's great. Okay, stop one second. One click, one click tight. Right. Capture. Remember, if the fish is moving, you stop. Don't reel. Don't reel. Don't reel. Don't reel. That fish is still moving, so don't reel when he's, when the fish is moving. Okay, come to the front, sir. Yeah? Good stuff. Keep going to the front. Right, one step back. Great stuff. Stay right there. Right, pick the rod up. Try to, try to pull that fish. That's it. And capture as you're going down. Right, pick up. Can't, that's very fast, 200 meters out. That's your number six nickel looks that are there. Alright, carry on. This look like it looks like it's definitely definitely escape. Yeah, definitely it's escape. The picture from the front. Right, as you come in, you must capture, capture, capture. Right, now pick the rod up. Good stuff. Right, capture again, capture again, quick. And pick up again. Right, if you feel it moving that side, we're gonna, we're gonna go that way just now. Right, capture. Right, keep walking to the left. Don't worry, I'll have a look at that. Liz! Right, stop here. Okay, capture, capture, capture. Okay, let's go more left. Let's go more left. She's gonna be crossing your road anytime now. Get ready to drop your rod flat down, I tell you. Stand here, stand here, stand here. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Right, go, 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 let's see. Les, do you feel that, Les? Feel any movement? All right, then the, the fish went under. That's good. Okay. Right. Now we clear up all the reef here now, but it's more than 200. It's more than 250 meters out. Right? Yeah, still moving. Okay. So your salt is 4,500. Is moving here. Yeah? Look at this. And Daniel, can you see your line? Oh, what a pull! I'm not sure how long this is gonna last. That's the number six nickel hook says I here. Whatever she's hooked on, is hooked up right in the loop, definitely. But there's 15 pound maximum line there. And she's already more than 200 and some odd meters of Surf Pro 45 pound braid that's gone out. She's well into a JDB 30 pound now. And the JDB here, yeah, we look like we got another 200 meters there. So I hope she can turn this fish around, whatever it is. It's moving quite a bit. Okay. One click. I'm not gonna lose the fish. I 
right side. Just there, right? That's it. So you just hold this rod. Hold it. Oh, goodness, look at that. Alright, now you're going to try and get him tried. So that looks like it's probably a very big skate. That picture from the front line there. I hope you're wrong about that. <laughs> Oh, what a run, what a run. Excellent stuff. Excellent stuff here at Margate Pier. Fun and games. So it's a 11 foot rock hopper here. And the rod's bending, I look at that. I you, it's not bad <laughs> Well, that's your fresh hookies bait that Angie's got there. So Jack Mac put some hookies good. That worked out and the fish has picked up right in the front. And that's a real rod bender, look at that. Ah, it's like to pick up. That's it, that's it, that's it. Not too much of pressure. Remember, you only got 15 pound line on the front, okay? So, yeah, it's very tight, so hopefully that fish turns around and come back. But don't give it to him too easy. Let's have a look here. How are we looking here? Okay, we still got quite a few braids there. Oh, we're still moving out there. Oh, that's a big run. Look at this. So when the fish stops, right, try to pick up gradually. When he starts running, just hold firm, okay? That's it. Pick up, pick up, pick up. Not more than 15 pounds pressure. Right, capture as you're going down. Right, and pick up. Pick up. That's it. The fish is tired. So this behavior, definitely it's a skate, because that fish is sitting down, okay? Could be a sandy, and could be a skate. Okay? Pick up the rod, pick up the rod, pick up the rod, pick up more, more, more. Oh, there you're dragging it now. Right, capture as you go down. Rod on, capture, and pick up again. Excellent. Excellent. Keep going, that's it, that's it. Capture quick as you're going down. Oh, what a rod bender, look at that. So we've got Les's rod here with a live quarantine, just on the right hand side of NG. Now we're lucky that this fish, when it took, it uh, missed the Les rod. That's the one with the yellow policeman up there. So yeah, great stuff. What a pull, look at this rod bender. So just for you guys, excellent stuff here. Left hand side corner of Margate Pier, but this fish, Fun and games. <laughs> so this fish picked up Angie from the center there. She was trying for a brim and she got picked up. So guys, make sure when you're fishing up here, anything's possible, big runs from the front line. So make sure you are equipped, your knots are good. Yeah, look at this. It's holding up so far quite good. She's not geared to try for very heavy game for that brim, yes. But yeah, this is gonna give her a good show. Let's have a look. So stay tuned with us, guys. Let's hope we can bring this fish closer and closer so we can see what's happening here. But it looks massive so far. Your hands are burning, huh? <laughs> yes guys, the diner is keeping us busy. When you guys are visiting us here, 
can visit us at the Vongo Rotary Market. Jody, what you got to say? What's happening here? I'm just excited for my sister. <laughs> <laughs> well deserved. Great stuff. <laughs> Oh, what a pool! So it's far. The fish is close to 300 meters away from you. Are you yes. But the amount of your surf pro braid is out, and now into your JDB there, the back, so that yeah, close to 300 meters of your line is out already. <laughs> you know, I never thought this is possible. As I was chatting earlier, I just said to Jody and our team, I just want to feel a bite. And um, I caught a little pinky, which was my first day. <laughs> but uh, can you believe anything's possible, guys? But we got to land this baby. So just watch your step, huh? Okay, pick up. Capture. I pick up. Yo, that's strong. So guys, we're 15 minutes into the fight. Fun and games here. Margate beer once again. Great to be back. Great intervals before we get up our videos to you guys. And he's building up a sweat there, taking out the jackets. Jody to the rescue. Thanks, Jody. It already had a break okay. and then it took off again now. So that's definitely a big skate that picked you up. Can't be. Salmon won't stop at the same place and take a break. So this is all the work of a, of a big skate. One click, tight, tight to one click, right? No, oh, you got that drag tight. No, 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 give it like just like that. Eh? You're putting some more pressure on it now to try and turn it around. Don't go too close, come, back, come two steps back to the, away from the railing, that's it. All right, stay there. Man, look at that pressure on the rod. So that's a rock upper, guys. <laughs> hey, old faithful. That thing is performing excellent here so far. Give that rock upper a round of applause. Give that fisher woman, that fisher dame, a bigger round of applause for getting this pickup. Well done. <laughs> Well done, Baba. Well done. Well done. Great stuff so far. You put my lucky <laughs> Well, thanks to Hookies. Brendan, this one's for you, buddy. Thanks a lot, man. Excellent bait there. You supply in your tackle shops. So you can pick that bait up from your lucky stores and all your local tackle shops that are around here. So, Hookies bait, guaranteed freshness. 
has working perfectly fine for us here at Margate Pier. And uh, yes, great pickups. Look at this. Fantastic pickup. So your hooky is Jap Mackerel and your hooky is uh, Scud in those little tubs. You can get that. Uh, yeah, that's a combination of bait that Angie was using there. And she's got this massive pickup on a light stick or 11 foot rock hopper or a Sautus 4500. Excellent stuff. So she's got a 45 uh, pound uh, surf pro uh, right there in the front. But a chase line is only 15 pound maximum line with your nickel hooks number six. So guys, the hooks are holding on strong so far. Haven't given up on us as yet. And remember, it's very thin body. Uh, yeah, so it hasn't given up. It's, it's holding on quite strong there. Look at that. Yeah, I didn't step the hook off, but let's have a look. So Angie's fought that fish close to 20 minutes. Tried to deliver, her, held the rod out. Hey guys, unfortunate, but well played by Angie. But this was massive. Definitely a skate, but he did sit. But as he picked up and moved again, yeah, he came off. So let's have a look at what damage it happened to the trace. So as you can see guys, I'm onto the JDB here. Yeah? And just gonna come through. Let's see how far this is gone. So my good pal down, Daniel, from Anglin and Connection down in Jeffreys Bay, you know exactly what this means. How far we are out now. Oh no. a lot of line out, eh? Alright guys, so this here is your double hook space here, made it with 15 pound maximum line, alright, so it's broken up on the second, the second hook out here, so it broke up from here, so it held up quite a bit, but these are your hooks that we were using, as you can see, so this is your nickel hook and the number 6 hook, and yes, the bottom bait out, so that's the one you probably picked up, so that's the bait that's sitting quite lower down, so definitely the action of a skate. So the fish did take out quite far, over 300 meters out. It sat quite a few places. I observed that. And yeah, on the last takeoff, it looks like that it broke off. So yes, well done to Angie. Let's have a look at what Angie's got to say. Okay, well done Angie, my sister. Well done Angie, you did well. Thank you. All right, so tell us how you feel. <laughs> I have no words. <laughs> okay, guys, you know what? Um, that's how fishing goes. And um, we had such a busy weekend. Um, as you know, Mike and I have started our own diner and we are operating from home. And um, so we started the Rotary Ivongo markets from yesterday and we had work today as well. And as we finished off, we decided that the only place that we could really relax is at Margaret Pier. So we got ourselves together and we got here and we met Jody and Des. And I was just telling Jody, I just want to feel a bite, you know, just feel anything. I just even hope the pinkies are biting. And as we're standing there chatting, this fish took me. And I must say, I felt that adrenaline rush. And um, while you're watching this video, you'll see that it was really a big fish. I have to take my hat out to this beautiful rock upper, 11 foot. And of course, my beautiful reel and, and, and the line that is um, held up for so long. 
Um, but nevertheless, you win some, you lose some. But uh, it would have been great to have seen what this fish was. Uh, but I just want to say I enjoyed the thrill of the pull and uh, just fighting it along. And um, I'm not upset that Mike lost my fish. <laughs> <laughs> But it's always in the back of your mind uh, what it would have been. Um, but then again, to all of you, we just want to wish you a lovely week ahead and tight lines. <laughs>